Thrive Coaching. I'm, I'm, I, you stick to the issues, guys, are going to like this. Like, Jesse, stop just entertaining us and stop being fun to listen to and talk about content. Content, right. Okay, I hear you. I'm going to talk about content and I'm going to talk about Thrive Coaching. I'm, I'm, I'm launching this. Uh, I, this is not going to be a sales pitch video. Podcast Weekly is my announcement catch up with the, the, my, my, my loyal listeners, both of you. Actually, you know, I'll tell you, I'm honored. I, I watched the FOD, the, the, the podcast peed. Um, I, I, I watched the podcast, um, uh, figures and there are about 55 of you and you are incredibly loyal and I never hear from you, but I hear from you in your subscriptions that you, you download stuff and you're listening and that's, that, that's meaningful to me. I love you. I'd love to hear more from you. I don't know if you were aware, Patreon, $5 a month. Not everybody can pay money. That's, that's cool. That's cool. But if you've got cash and you want to pay $5 a month, you get access to a special Discord conversation group. Uh, some of you might be only the first to ever do it because this is kind of launching and it's slow, but you know, it's there. It's there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do to juice things up. I'm getting into life coaching. I should probably talk about why. I like I, I I had a conversation with Noah about this this week, and Noah never listens to the podcast, at least not currently. I maybe he shouldn't. I mean, you know, if your dad had a had a talk show on TV, would you watch it? You know, probably not. Same thing with your brother. You know, David Limbaugh doesn't listen to Rush, I don't think, and and he shouldn't. I mean, they're brothers. You know. Um. Okay. Water break, and I look. I've been asking and evaluating and thinking about where I need to be going for my job, turning time into money. Um, I'm 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 not I'm I'm not a fan of passive income only. I'm 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 I, passive income's useful, uh, especially if you're using computer scripts, like you set up a computer to do stuff automatically, or you give someone a job. Like there are people that want to have a job. They don't want to think, I, I think I explained this to me. I mean, I, I was, I was deep into the Amway thing years ago and it was passive everything. Let's make everything passive. Well, Amway is very non-passive income. You have to go out and keep shilling soap and, and the dream, uh, in order to keep your income, your am, income way, way, your Amway income coming. But this guy actually worked, I think he worked for Amway or he was a manager and was like his father was an executive in the Amway company, not, not one of the sales IBO distributor people. Like he worked in an office at the Amway headquarters. He sat and explained to me, he said, he said, Jesse, I want a J-O-B, a nine to five. I go there, I go home. Maybe I work overtime. Maybe I'm an administrator and it's a J-O-B. And I, if I don't go to work, I don't get paid less sick days and that's my work. And I, I want that. I like that. And that's, that, that's good. You know, you, you go, you do your work, you do what you're told and you spend your time thinking about family. That's a useful thing. Um, me, I want some passive income because that's, that makes that that's money to make the world a better place. But you know, specifically, I, I want to make a world better place by giving people jobs that want them. People don't, people that they don't want to be inventive. They don't want to read Cash Flow Quadrant by, you know, uh, Robert Kiyosaki. And they want to have a good employer that they can trust. That's, that's, that's a thing. And I think that's kind of underrated. So even then, though, I'm not a fan of passive only income. I, we need to have J-O-B. And so I'm looking at my life and I'm, I'm, feeling that it's the ethical, honest thing for me to get into life coaching. And after this guzzle of water, I'm going to tell you why. Mm. Drink water. Drink water. My brain shuts off if I don't drink it. And I noticed Jordan, JP does the same thing. Jordan Peterson. <clears throat> Now, my life, I, I have, I've got a number of brands. You can go to jesse.house. You can peruse all the cute little uh, jokeable, laughable little projects that I've got. A lot of these have a lot of time going into them. I know it fails. Look, I've got projects I work on that will continue to fail. 
and I will continue to work with them because I am addicted to failing. It's called failing forward. I know what works and what doesn't. If you call me and you say, Jesse, I've got this marketing idea. I can, I might tell you that will fail. Do not invest money in it. And I know it fails because I have that failing project myself and I'm continuing it because I'm watching how it fails. If it ever stops failing, I'll let you know. But I want to be an expert in what fails. I, I, I think Thomas Edison said something like, I know 10,000 ways not to invent a light bulb. So jesse.house includes my little projects. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's important to fail. It, it's learning. It's, you know, like that's, an, that's a thing. But that's all that I've got. I've got, the, you know, like the shirt that I'm wearing is, is a full-blown, ready, out the door, ready to go brand. Guys, Sunday morning skate. And then the, then the back of it, the back of it says, uh, 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 what, what does the back of it say? I skate Sunday morning. All right. That's not a successful brand right now. It's set to go. I've done the supply side stuff. So what in the world do I know? Why, why would I do life coaching? Right now I'm getting life coaching certification. I'm taking a class at Udemy. I've actually got two, I'm taking classes from two separate certifiers, actually. I like this because the guys I'm learning from actually have the master's degree in psychology. So like there's smarts here. Okay. Follow me on this as I blast through. Life coaching is undefined. You know, no one really knows what specifically it is and every life coach is going to be different. But a lot of the life coaching stuff I see out there is what are your goals? Push, push, push. And it's PMA, positive mental attitude stuff going back to Napoleon Hill, who was, who was inspired and commissioned kind of by Andrew Carnegie. And he invented the whole self-help movement. And ultimately life coaching is basically a personal uh, exercise training coach for the genre of self-help stuff. And that all began with Napoleon Hill. Now, my question, if you're choosing a life coach, my question is, does your life coach know how to tell you what life coaching is, that it fits into the self-help genre, just hands on, and what started it? And the answer being Napoleon Hill. I've read Napoleon Hill's book. I've, I've got audio talk of Napoleon Hill talking and lecturing and telling the story about it. Most life coaches won't know that because they don't know the history. All right. Well, that's interesting. The thing that I'm seeing in a lot of this life coaching stuff, it's find your passion, find your passion. And, and, and the writer in me, the Bible translator, writer, theologian, lawyer, wannabe in me is asking, what's the definition of a passion? And I'm listening to these talks and I like it. I'm going through the life coaching thing. I'm going through the lists of what you like to do and what do you enjoy that the homework. That's useful stuff, useful, but I'm not seeing profitability. I'm seeing them define passion as the thing that couldn't possibly ever make you any money and you just love it. Well, okay. But if it doesn't pay the bills, then you can't keep doing it. If you're homeless on the street, you can't work in your wood shop that you're passionate about. And I don't believe in having the job that you hate over here and then the passion that you love that doesn't make money over there. That doesn't make sense. There needs to be a path to profitability. And I don't hear these licensed psychologists or whatever, the guys with their master's degrees, saying anything about that. We Okay. All right. You know, that's a thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at my life and I'm, I, I, just, I feel conscientious, like it's time for me to start life coaching. And I think I'm going to make some videos and I'm going to... I'm going to advertise and start promoting a little bit about that. But what is it that makes it so that me and all my failed projects are worthwhile? And I'm looking, where is the success that I've had in this? And I'll tell you right now, I survived Taiwan 10 years. I, there's a lot of people that I don't think could do that. Now, there are people that get into Taiwan and they, they have a scholarship, they study at school, like that, that's a thing. But I didn't do that. I came for employment and I had all kinds of bad stuff happen to me, which I'm, I'm actually going to get into in the Taiwan special this week. I'm actually thinking about running an extra Taiwan special today. <laughs> but I survived Taiwan. Do you know how to do that? You know, one of the things that we're missing in life coaching is good ideas, not just listening and feedback. I'm out of time. I love you. And we will talk later.